Hello, Scorpio. Thank you for joining me for your weekly forecast for week commencing the 12th of February. This week begins marvellously for you when Venus, the planet of love, moves into the most glamorous of locations. Here, she joins up with Neptune, the planet of dreams. Now, the two are eventually going to come together in a close alliance later this month, which can prove to be magical. But Venus moving into this area encourages you to have total faith in how you look and what you can draw to you. Now, this can be in a romantic context. It can be your love of fashion, if you have one. You may decide to invest a little bit more in that part of your situation. Or if you're really into the arts, this is an area that you can flourish around now if you're a creative person. But this week, of course, does see a partial solar eclipse. And the gathering of energy around this for you is very much to do with your foundations. And when I say foundations, I don't mean so much in a practical financial sense. I mean much more in an emotional sense. It said home is wherever our heart is, so it's within us, wherever we are. But we're still very attuned to our environment. Now, if you're living somewhere that you feel very happy and comfortable in, you can flourish over the next six months. If you're not, it may be something you want to address. And it's possible that you could do so in a way which surprises even you. You could get to a point where you could make some sudden decisions to have a bit of a change. Now, of course, your sign doesn't make changes very easily. You're someone who tends to stick with what you know. You're a fixed sign. So why might that be? Well, it's the role of Uranus. Uranus, the planet of change, is in a very practical part of your scope, but angles towards this eclipse. And because Mercury is also combining with the Sun and the Moon, your mind and how you think about where you live and your environment is going to be very closely tied in to being a bit more innovative, seeking change, wanting stimulation. That could just be that you're going to make some adaptations to where you live at the current time. Or it may be that you could start a business from home or in your locality or change your hours so you have greater flexibility to work around other commitments and potentially the needs of your family if you have one. But essentially this is about how you feel. And how you feel about things is going to become so much more important to you. You are a very profound sign anyway, but it's now just going to need more nurturing, more care over this next half year. And that's going to inform your decisions around your love life and the people that you're uh, cohabiting with. Now, in the more immediate short term, Venus gives you an opportunity to be more playful and you may decide to invite people round to your home and play mine host. Or perhaps you're just going to be a bit livelier in terms of what you do in your community. But this is a time when you need to balance your emotional needs with the more playful and outgoing part of your nature too. And if you are someone who is a bit reticent about being with people, this is an opportunity to understand what makes you tick and what some of... Uh, the more sensitive strands in your personality are, or your history, in this coming time. It's been a real pleasure being with you. I'd love it if you would subscribe, uh, comment or like on my channel. Good luck for now, and goodbye. Thank you for joining me. If you'd like to know more, please visit my website at www.patrickarundel.com or download my free app, in iOS, Google or Facebook at www.horoscope-ace.com. Thanks and goodbye.